Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to all the participants in this Global Investment Convention 2021 edition 2. I hope you all are enjoying this virtual exhibition. Moving ahead, I would like to introduce one of the fastest growing urban areas in Finland, that is Seinäjoki. Seinäjoki has left the global footprint due to amazing business structure. Excellent geographic location has attracted many global players here. The key sectors involves healthcare, information and communication technology, manufacturing, chemical and many more. So let's have a quick overlook on the business happening in Seinäjoki. Presenting the business opportunities for American companies in Seinäjoki, Finland. Placed in the region of South Ostrobotnia, the total area of this region is 1469.23 km2 with a population of 64,335 and a GDP of 6,843.16 million USD. There are some of the key pointers of this city like Finland's 16th largest city and it is safe to locate in Seinäjoki. It is also a economic structure is amazing and the taxation policy are quite promising. Let me tell you there is a high level of education in this region because 32% of the residents have a university daily. Why to invest in Seinäjoki? It is Finland's best place for companies. Seinäjoki is a significant concentration in trade. Number one in retail stores in the city of at at least 40,000 residents. One of the country's highest relative growth rate by almost all measurements. The lowest unemployment rate among Finland's biggest city is over here. And there are many more such points. The agriculture and food industry is quite promising. Let me tell you, it contributes to overall 15% of Finland's total GDP. 12% of foodstuff machine production is in South Ostrobotnia. 12% of foodstuff machine production is in South Ostrobotnia itself. Agriculture technology companies in the region form 14% of the country's total. Agriculture and food companies present out here are as following as you can see. The agriculture production is divided into the following segments. It is led by crop production, followed by dairy husbandry, then beef production, pig husbandry, poultry production and others. When we talk about food processing by sector, it is taken over and led by bakery products followed by other products, then vegetable berry and food products and so on. The information technology sector is also amazing. The technology industry in Finland's biggest sector. Overall, 3 lakh Finns work in technology companies, 2 lakh employees in the electronics and electrotechnical industry are present out here. 60,000 senior salaried employees and 70% of all investment in R&D is carried out in Finland. Here are some of the major players into the information technology sector. Now talking about the aerospace industry, Finland's airport serving close to 26 million passengers, employer to more than 1 lakh people, estimated to account for 3.2% of Finland's total GDP. Also, second best skilled workforce in the entire world and third most innovative country in the world. Here are some of the major aerospace companies present out here. Manufacturing sector is as following. The manufacturing industries are the backbone of Finnish economy. The companies employ 3 lakh people directly and 7 lakh people in total. That is 30% of the entire Finnish labor. The technology industry makes up to 51% of Finnish exports. Here are some of the manufacturing companies present in Finland. The trade fairs and exhibitions conducted over here are world class and here are some of the associations and chambers that are present out here with us. Well, thank you so much. For our last session of this edition, I'm pleased to introduce Invest in Seinäjoki from Finland. And to present about the opportunities in Seinäjoki, I invite Ms. Elizabeth Kivimaki from International Affairs and Relocation Services Department. Hello, greetings from Finland and from the city of Seinäjoki. Here in Seinäjoki, we have space for all kinds of good things and business ideas, including investors who want to develop our city together with us. 
We have courage and a strong can-do attitude here in Seinäjoki. We also love doing great things to develop our city and uh, we get excited by big projects. The organization that I am representing is uh, Into Seinäjoki Limited. Um, we are a city-owned development company and a business center. Uh, our mission is to help companies succeed and grow their businesses. And we offer free of uh, charge services for startup companies, uh, for companies aiming to grow their business and find new markets uh, from abroad as well as companies who are looking for new ideas and innovation. And one big area of our work is also to attract foreign direct investment into the Seinäjoki region. So our Invest Seinäjoki work includes also free services for foreign companies. So we help companies to relocate here in um, Finland and here in Seinäjoki. And we can support throughout the whole process so that uh, your relocation to our region will be uh, like a soft landing process. Here you can see our location on the map. So, like you can see, we are very centrally located in Finland. We have really good uh, logistic connections to Seinäjoki. So, especially by train, um, you can connect from uh, our capital city Helsinki to Seinäjoki uh, really fast. It only takes uh, about two hours, 50 minutes by train. And then another two hours, 40 minutes um, to one of the biggest growth centers in Finland, in the northern Finland, uh, the city of Oulu. We are also um, one of the best places in Finland to do business. So we have actually been ranked number one and Finland's best city for entrepreneurs. Uh, this is not only our own bragging, but it's supported by several studies and surveys carried out by the Confederation of Finnish Industries and Federation of Finnish Enterprises. So we have ranked number one um, during many consecutive years in a row. Seinäjoki is also one of the fastest growing cities in Finland. And our relative population increase is among the highest in Finland. So our population is about 64,000 people currently, and our annual growth is close to 1%. Also, companies in our region believe in the growth of Seinäjoki and have heavily invested into new development in the recent years. We also have um, um, new business areas coming up here on a land uh, over uh, consisting of uh, 1000 hectares of new land. We also have a big new development at our railway station area. So on an area of 30 hectares, there will be 120,000 square meters of um, new buildings, um, which will have space for shopping uh, services and different types of um, public services, offices, and also housing for new citizens. Seinäjoki has traditionally been the center of uh, commerce in the western part of Finland. And with our latest new shopping mall developments, so Idea Park Seinäjoki shopping mall has become the seventh largest shopping and entertainment centers in Finland. And this is by far the biggest investment in the real retail business in Seinäjoki. Also our city center, is um, under construction. So we have over 20 construction projects uh, going on right in the city center. So there will be new blocks of uh, buildings uh, coming up for new business premises and uh, also homes for thousands of new citizens that are moving into Seinäjoki. We are also the center of food province in Finland. So our strong industry is uh, food industry. 
We have strong primary production and uh, foodstuff refining in the region and also significant food system cluster. And um, uh, we have active investment in industrial production and our food is exported globally with uh, China actually among the growing markets. We are also known for our big events. So uh, during the summertime, Seinejoki is a very active city and we get um, about half a million festival visitors annually. Um, um, and we, uh, the big events that we organize here are um, uh, Provincy Rock Festival, then we have also Seinejoki Tango Festival, then we have Vauhtia Trace and Rock Festival and different types of music festivals. So Seinejoki is an active city and uh, also we have events throughout the year. We have big um, arenas and facilities for organizing even big trade fairs and, and uh, trade related events. And one nice to know fact about Seinejoki is that we have um, a unique uh, concentration of uh, buildings designed by a world famous architect, Alvar Aalto. So our unique administrative and cultural center was designed by Alvar Aalto, and this is also a world-class attraction. So uh, the most um, famous building is the main church uh, right in the city center. Uh, we also have space for education in Seinäjoki. So we have about 10,000 students who are studying at the Seinäjoki University of Applied Sciences and at the educational institution SEDU. So we don't have our own university in Seinäjoki, but we do have a university consortium of Seinäjoki, which uh, consists of um, universities of Tampere, Helsinki and Vasa, as well as University of Arts. Uh, so we have uh, highly educated people in Seinäjoki and up to 32% of residents have an academic degree here. So we have very educated workforce also available. And here are 10 reasons why you should invest in Seinäjoki. So uh, we are uh, the, one of the fastest growing cities in Finland. We are also Finland's best place for companies and our location is excellence on the Helsinki Tampere Oulu growth corridor. The accessibility is really good to Seinäjoki and you will get a steady increase in the value of property and land for your investment in a growing city. We also have the lowest un unemployment rates among Finland's biggest cities and we have highly educated people and we are also number one in retail stores in cities of at least uh, 40,000 residents and we have strong business networks surrounding us and something that can't be copied is our attitude so Seinäjoki is the city of doers and I will highlight a few uh, examples of uh, big investment projects that are coming up uh, in Seinäjoki in the near future. So the first one is Seinäjoki Data Center. So um, here uh, we are going to be building a, a massive green data center area, which is called the Data Park area. Uh, the total investment uh, will be almost 200 million euros. And the clients will be global data storage uh, giants from all around the world. Uh, the main partners of the project are Seinäjoki Energy Limited and German Rittal Limited. And various investors and global IT companies are involved in this project. Uh, the electricity demand for the first phase is about 7 megawatts at full capacity run with low carbon emission energy. Uh, the data center uses green electricity and the aim is to utilize up to more than 90% of the excess heat energy in the Seinoki Energy District heating network. So this is a unique new concept. And why did these investors choose Seinoki? So first of all, our central location played a key role 
And um, uh, of course, the fact that Seinäjoki is uh, one of the fastest growing cities in Finland also played a big role. And investors always want val value for money, and that's what they will get here in Seinäjoki. And also one interesting factor was uh, that we actually have a gateway to Asia opening up from Seinäjoki. So um, uh, this Arctic cable that runs uh, through Seinäjoki connects Europe to Asian countries with uh, really quick data connections. And this is our uh, vision for the next 10 years. So what is currently happening here um, is the infrastructure development. Uh, we had available plot for this development project and uh, really excellent data connections. Also the technical specifications matched uh, well with the requirements and uh, our stable and cold climate conditions here were also a big bonus uh, for the operation and also the reliable and competitive electricity supply is something that we can offer here, even for future development projects. So uh, what is coming soon? Uh, so the first uh, phase, um, uh, we will have uh, 7,200 square meters um, of building starting already this year. And in the second phase, uh, the focus will be on technology and furnishing the server rooms and uh, uh, the full service will be opening then um, in the year 22. And at this stage already, we are looking for growth and expansion. So in the first expansion phase, um, we will be uh, building five to six data center units of the same size. And then later on, we will focus on new developments and uh, of the area and new services. So the focus will be on, on data services, which will provide also investment opportunities then for new logistics infrastructure to be built here. And also the development of data center logistics, including new flight connections to Seinäjoki. And then, of course, in the future, we want to have new sites uh, and there is opportunity to zone new business areas, uh, for example, for hotels and headquarters. And these developments offer new uh, investment opportunities for um, also global operators. And we are looking for companies in real estate um, who uh, take care of planning, building and managing projects. We also need knowledge-based companies that focus on entertainment and social media. And we are looking for innovative technology companies, including uh, companies dealing with electric cars and smart systems, uh, intelligent data connections and sustainable energy. And we also welcome smart logistics companies um, that have expertise on intelligent systems, AI and virtual technologies. And um, uh, this offers a good platform for also e-commerce companies, so um, uh, operators dealing with online trade and, and also retailers are welcome to say Naoki. And then um, another really interesting development and a new project in Seinäjoki is the Seinäjoki drone port uh, that will be opening um, in 2022. Uh, so this opens up a new gateway to Europe uh, and Seinäjoki airport will become the first drone port in Finland serving European drone freight network. An international company uh, called Dronamics is uh, developing a cost-efficient autonomous aircraft that um, can carry up to 350 kilos of freight within a distance of 2,500 kilometers. Uh, this company provides same-day middle mile deliveries and um, they will revo revolutionize um, the logistic network in Europe. So we talk about next generation logistic network together with Dronamics. And uh, the drones that Dronamics is developing can carry um, e-commerce goods, pharma, food products, special cargo and spare parts. 
And why did Dronemics choose to set up their uh, cargo drone port in Steinajoki? So uh, the same with them, our central location was excellent for them. Also the uh, fact that um, uh, a growing city is uh, a good place to invest in and um, uh, provides also then value for money for their investments here. And um, a special factor was also our network of companies um, in Seinäjoki. So alone in Seinäjoki, we already have nearly 6,000 enterprises. So we have a lot of companies that can utilize the services that Dronamics will uh, uh, offer and provide for our region in the future. And this is our vision for the future. So um, um, currently what is present here at the moment is the excellent platform for drone port development. So our airport infrastructure is excellent and it provides actually opportunities for even more development uh, within the aviation industry. Uh, we have warehouses available for this um, uh, uh, operation, upcoming new operation, and the highway connections are really good from Seinäjoki for a logistic operation. And then also our location along the main railway was a really good factor to establish this uh, new development here in Seinäjoki. And something that supports these developments um, are the new uh, projects that are coming soon. Uh, that have already been started. Also, one of them is a medical helicopter base, and the base is scheduled to become operational in late uh, year 2022. And the construction of the base has already started in Seinäjoki and at the Seinäjoki airport. And with the uh, new development for the Frein drone port, so um, it's a huge thing for uh, the city of Seinäjoki that uh, Dronomics flights will be starting uh, in the next um, uh, couple of years time. And the minimum target um, is 10 tons of cargo per day to be um, shipped from Seinäjoki. And uh, with this development, we are aiming to become a logistics center in Finland for online trade and e-commerce operators. And this provides investment opportunities for uh, companies that would want to start building warehouses for logistics center or even extension of runway, which would, would then enable, um, for example, direct flights from uh, China, for example. And we are also aiming to become a um, future technology living lab for logistics, uh, aviation and drone technology companies to test new technologies in our environment. And um, in the future, so we are also um, becoming part of electric aviation network, or we are already part of the network and the future opportunities include um, electric uh, aviation and flights from Seinäjoki to different uh, destinations in Finland and in the Nordic countries. Uh, this provides the possibility for enhanced connectivity for tourism, business, education and trade. And these developments uh, bring along new investment opportunities also for foreign companies. So we are looking for companies in e-commerce. Uh, who are online trade operators or retailers. Uh, so this group are our customers. Uh, it can include companies like Amazon or Alibaba or companies alike. And then we would also like to attract with these developments uh, companies focusing on logistics um, who provide first mile and last mile uh, solutions and deliveries and intelligent systems for logistic chain. Um, also, technology companies are welcome, uh, especially companies with UAV technology, uh, logistic chain and aviation related solutions. And for these uh, developments, we also need real estate companies who can take care of planning, uh, building and managing these projects. So here are a few highlights about investment opportunities here in Seinäjoki. Um, thank you very much for your interest towards uh, investing in Seinäjoki 
Uh, you are very welcome to contact me for further information. Um, I am Elizabeth Kivimäki and my contacts are shown here. Uh, you are also welcome to contact my colleague Riina Mansikkamäki and you will see her contacts on the screen as well. Thank you so much for your attention and I hope to see you in Seinäjoki sometime soon. Thank you, Ms. Elizabeth, for presenting about Sainajoki region and explaining the opportunities and services offered for companies willing to expand in Scandinavian market. Now, for giving word of thanks, I would like to invite Ms. Saidi Ingalde, Vice President Crescendo Worldwide, to conclude the ceremony.